Welcome my friend, Seven Gray here. Today I want to talk about Goldilocks Syndrome. And as you can tell, it's snowing right now. This is my trailer back here. My truck, probably have about uh, two inches of snow, something like that. I'm gonna get back inside and let me explain Goldilocks Syndrome. I should explain, I made up the term Goldilocks Syndrome. I don't know if it actually exists in urban dictionaries or something like that, but it's a term that I came up with uh, a few years ago for, I don't know, my particular style of travel. And this started with international travel, not with van life or nomadic living here in the United States. So as you probably recall from your childhood, Goldilocks is a childhood story about a young girl who goes into a house and it's owned by three bears and the bears are not there but she goes around and she tries different things like she'll sit in a different chair and there's three different sizes one's uh, too big one's too small and one is just right and then there's some porridge sitting on the table and she tries that and the temperature is too hot with one and too cold with one and the one that she tries last is just right so that particular analogy or way of thinking is really what got me started in the my method of travel and the term that I use. So when I was traveling internationally, I would watch the weather. And if we were going to get hit with a hot spell, then I would travel uh, to cooler areas. If I'm in the northern hemisphere, that might be traveling further north, maybe traveling up to Estonia or the northern border of Germany for a week or several days. And then if it got too cold, then maybe I'm traveling to southern Spain or travel out to the islands of Greece or something like that. So that's sort of uh, the way it all started. Well, when I came back to the United States, Nomads uh, typically do the same thing. They'll follow the weather. They'll go north or south, uh, up or down in elevation to avoid weather or to find uh, just really fantastic weather, which is the wonderful thing that you can do as a nomad. About a week ago, I was camped outside of Buena Vista, uh, Salida, Colorado area up in the mountains sort of lower elevation, I don't know, medium elevation, something like that in the mountains. So um, I was just blissfully happy. It was in the low 70s there. Uh, at night it was maybe 42, 43, 44. Quite pleasant inside of the cargo trailer. And I camped up there for about 10 days, something like that. The perfect weather. And then I looked at the forecast and Colorado is known for crazy May weather. And it seems like every May that I've ever lived in Colorado, which has been probably 10 or 15 years of my life, uh, from my youth all the way up through adulthood on and off, every May there would be a massive snowstorm for anywhere from two to four days, something like that. And then it clears up and it's good for the rest of the summer. Well, this May, again, this happened. So... Uh, the prediction for the weather was to get about 10 inches plus on the first night and then uh, possibly two, three, or four nights total to have more snow. And the temperatures were supposed to be down in the 20s Fahrenheit, below freezing. So I decided, even though my trailer is well insulated, that I would drive an hour and a half south down to Alamosa. And I'll put up a map here so you can see I traveled basically south and also in lower elevation. So temperatures were supposed to be pretty moderate here. Supposed to be raining and maybe just a touch of snow. Well, that touch of snow is probably a little bit more. I don't know that I trust weather forecasters today. So as you can see outside, I'm sitting in my bed right now, so lighting's not so great over here. But as you can see outside, um, it's snowing. It rained most of the night. Started about 7 or 8 o'clock, something like that. And then it rained uh, just constant. A little bit more than a drizzle. I would say a light rain most of the night. Until something like 5.30 this morning. And I was awake about 5 when it was still just pattering rain. And then all of a sudden you didn't hear any rain patterns. And I popped my door open. 
and sure enough it started snowing so it's been snowing from right now for almost two hours which is what you just saw in the previous clip so the question is how is my diesel heater doing in this weather it is absolutely fabulous and my insulation as well i've been walking around bare feet this entire time and it's quite comfortable inside my trailer i have my heater pretty much on the lowest settings and I have it set at 60 degrees in here Fahrenheit which is quite comfortable it's slightly slightly on the cool side that's actually how I prefer it um, but I could pump it up to 70 degrees if I wanted and have it be toasty warm in here but I don't really feel the need I do have the rear ramp closed and I did that for two reasons one to give me a little bit more insulation and also because I have waterproofed the deck back there, but I just didn't want to subject it to uh, rain for, you know, 12 hours straight, something like that, when I didn't have to and I could have a win-win situation, close it for insulation and avoid the rain. That's all I have for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Savor the moment, and I'll see you in a future episode.